I have a lot of problems with the doctors in Vancouver and no results. I was doing lots of research. You guys treat the person and not like a number. After talking to your uh, colleagues on the phone, I felt quite comfortable. The people are so warm, friendly. It's such a safe place to come. Hello, would you please introduce yourself and tell us where you're coming from and what you brought you here to Swiss Medical? My name is Marlene Long. I came here because I have glaucoma and I'm coming from Vancouver, Canada. Um, how did you come up with the idea of having a stem cell therapy for glaucoma? Well, I have a lot of problems with the doctors in Vancouver and no results in um, inconsistent um, in conversations I have with them. So I start thinking that there must be something else. And on my own, I was doing lots of research, trying B12, um, stuff like that. and then. I came across a guy named Patrick Yen, I, I believe that's his name, and uh, I listened to him, and he have a similar problem to myself. So after that, I start researching all different um, countries that do stem cells, and I, I was a little nervous about it because I didn't know anything about stem cell. And the more I look into it, and the more I start researching um, from Stanford in the United States, I realized, oh, this is something that could possibly help me. So, uh, have you considered any other clinics? Because there are many out there. And what made you choose us, even though we are quite far away from Vancouver? That's correct. So, I looked in Panama. I looked at uh, a Mexico clinic. I also looked at one in, I believe, Miami. I didn't like their protocol as much as I like this one because you guys treat the person and not like a number. Um, the Mexico, I didn't like the chairs, the line of chairs that they have. Uh, remind me of a cattle ranch or something. Um, and here, they have a plan for you. So this was my reasons for coming here. It was, you were more uh, catered to a person than and like a group of people. And after talking to your, um, your, your uh, colleagues on the phone, I felt quite comfortable. So can we talk a little bit now about your treatment? What uh, it consisted from, like what, what it included, what kind of procedures you had, and um, uh, how you felt during those procedures? Was it painful? Well, so I have, I've had um, um, the eye, aim. so I had bone narrow. They couldn't find any fat on me. So they had to go in my bone arrow to extract um, from my eyes. So I have stem cells for myself and then they inject it into my eyes. I thought it was going to hurt like hell, but it did not. Um, it was a little uncomfortable, but over so quickly. Uh, I was surprised I didn't have any bruises after. Quite surprised actually. And uh, they also um, at, gave me, inter uh, I believe that same day I had a um, stem cell from my own self intravenous. So every day I have a different, uh, something different. I, and I had vitamins, um, I believe vitamin C and a cocktail also. And then the next day I have umbilical, call, umbilical card stem cell plus vitamins. I also had my knees, one of my knee done with a stem cell. So what else did I, and I, I did oxid, um, hyperbaric chamber. Um, also some therapy on my knees 
and a pelvic floor something another what is that called um, that was quite interested to strengthen my pelvic um, um, <clears throat> did you have any fears before coming to a foreign country far far away and if you did how you overcame those fears because there are many people over there willing to come and hesitating just because of their unknownness how is Serbia treating you? Okay, first of all, when I first told my husband I was coming here, he said no. Um, he says that his friend, he have a friend from Austria and he told him that it's a bad place not to come. And, uh, but I was doing my own research and I did not see any war here. I didn't see anything. And coming from Jamaica, I, I did not have any fear. I thought my eyes are important, so I would crawl through hell just to get somewhere to help myself. But when I came here, I was surprised. The people are so warm, friendly. They're willing to try to speak English just to help us. So, no, it's such a safe place to come. My friends that came with me, they go for walks every single day. Like, we've been here now six, seven days now we've been here. And uh, there is, I would advise anyone that wants to come here for help, do not listen to anyone that it's not safe, it's not true. Um, is there anything else, Marlene, you would like to add about uh, the clinic, the staff, the organization, just from yourself, maybe I forgot to ask. Well, the people are lovely. It kind of remind me of going back home. I can't wait to come back. I think I've made some friends here. Yes, okay. so, um, the and the clinic itself is very, very clean. Extremely clean, actually. Very impressive. So I, t I took a little video and I sent it to my husband and my husband said, wow, this is very nice. So, there we go. Thank you so much, Marlene.